Hello everybody, this is Mike Berger again with NC Planning, um, bringing another Daily Council video again in our series of uh, sort of other professionals in the space working with business owners. Um, we're bringing another guest today. It's a good friend, Jeff Williams, who's a uh, commercial loan advisor with Aloft Capital. Uh, Jeff regularly works with business owners, individuals, companies to try to find some um, financing options that are out there in the space. Um, and I thought it would be useful and valuable for business folks to hear from Jeff, his perspective, what he's seeing as we start to hopefully come out of the COVID-19 stay in place orders and we start to see businesses reopen in some degree um, from the financial side, uh, what he's seeing. So Jeff, uh, good day, thank you for joining us. What are you seeing out there in the space? Thanks, Mike. I appreciate uh, the opportunity to talk with you today. And first, um, let me say, um, you know, thank you for these daily council videos. You guys have done a great job getting a lot of good information out there every day. And uh, I've, been, I've enjoyed that and, and appreciate what you're doing. And, and I know uh, it's been a lot of work, but I appreciate that you're getting good information out there. Um, what we're seeing is a whole lot of people inundated with the PPP situation. Um, lenders who uh, have basically had to drop everything. You know, we, we talk to, to various types of lenders every day, uh, banks and, and otherwise. And uh, over the last month, they basically had to drop everything and, and process PPP loans um, just for the sheer volume of their own clients that, that are out there. So. Unfortunately, what that has done is has slowed down the lending of any other type in this short term um, because of manpower and their ability to process other things. Um, but we are seeing some people starting to come out of that. So we're seeing some lenders who are, who are ready to get back to other types of lending outside of PDP, which is a, a great thing. So we see this as a, a, a short term slowdown. Um, from the lending standpoint of what the what lenders are out there doing um, because of just sheer manpower they've had to kind of drop everything and take care of PPP but they're ready to, to get back to lending and we're hope to, to see them get back to doing some good loans for uh, for small business owners so that we can uh, get through this uh, this current situation and get back to, to doing some real business yeah I think that's a great point and you know one that we've observed as well talking with Clients, business owners daily, of course, PPP is top, top of mind right now. Um, and, you know, talking to various folks in banking in the space, similar to what you're noting, that there's just an inundation with the processing of loan applications. But I do think it's really good to hear that the, the general feel of this is that that is hopefully a short blip. We're going to get through that and move on to hopefully uh, bigger and better times. Of course, I know and you know that the long-term impact is still TBD, um, but hopefully once we clear that and it is that short-term blip that we're back to some degree of business as usual, whatever usual becomes. Uh, <laughs> I know you deal a lot with a bunch of different lenders and you get that really unique perspective of not just you know tunnel vision on one type of loan product. And what folks may or may not know um, is that the SBA lending product sort of come a little bit in different shapes and sizes because of the relationship between SBA and local lenders um, and the ability of lenders themselves to sort of make, I guess, their own personal adjustments to those packages to some degree. Can you tell us a little bit about what folks might see there as they apply for loans or whatnot different from PPP, more just general operational once we're back to business? Yeah, sure. So, one, well, one thing that I, I feel that, you know, I've spent uh, almost 25 years in commercial banking inside the four walls of traditional banks um, prior to, to working with a lot of capital. So, one thing that, that people tend to not um, understand as well is that all banks and all lenders have appetites for certain types of lending or certain types of collateral or, you know, just different um, risk profiles that they are comfortable with when it comes to commercial lending. Um, and so when we look at the SBA programs, they can also use that same type of um, risk profile in the SBA world. So some banks will use the SBA um, programs and the SBA guarantee, 
just to kind of shore up a, a, a weakness somewhere in there in that loan application, maybe collateral shortfall or a cash flows shortfall, um, where other banks will you know, use the, the SBA program as this is the way that we can go find more business uh, and really be more aggressive with it. Um, and, and so what we, we find is that uh, our small business borrowers that we work with, you know, they don't you know, typically, you know, they, they're not doing this every day. They're not talking to lenders every day. And so they don't see the, the wide spectrum of different types of lenders out there who are interested in different types of loans. And so it's our job really to make sure that we get them to the right lender for the right deal that's going to have a better chance for success. A lot of people don't realize that commercial lending is basically about a 20% approval rate on typical commercial loans uh, you know, across the board. And there's some things that could be done. Uh, chief in that is, is probably approaching the, the right lender, but there's also some ways that, you know, some things that can be done within the, the loan request itself to try to get a higher uh, probability rate of getting approved. And that's certainly something that, that, that we work on with clients to, to make sure that we can get them a successful closing of a loan at the, at the end of the day. Yeah, I think that's a great point. You know, one of the things we've talked a lot about um, on the Daily Council videos, either whether it's just me or with other guests, is sort of this concept of, you know, positivity as we, as we look at this as a glass half full. I know there's a lot of negativity out there, obviously for reasons that are, are again, are obvious, but um, if we look at, at this sort of like a what opportunities are out there or what glass half full approach can we take? One of them that we come back to repeatedly with guests and with our team is as a business owner or as a company, <clears throat> you spend a lot of time working in your business and some of this downtime, if you will, or slow down gives you an opportunity to work on your business. And so to your point, I guess, you know, this might be a great opportunity to think about, um, you know, working with an advisor such as yourself to, to dot I's and cross T's to tee yourself up to be ready, right? For a loan. Maybe today is not the day to apply for a loan, but maybe today's the day to start thinking about what other liquidity availabilities out there and how we go about putting ourselves in the best position as business owners to, to maximize our opportunity when we get there. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. And, and now, now, like you said, working on the business, now might be a good time to dust off that old business plan and look at those projections that you thought were going to happen. And what can you put into place now, uh, financing or otherwise, that to help you, yourself get to that you know, three-year projection or five-year projection? But also there's things like projects where you, know, you might be looking at buying a, a building or, or building a, a new building. And that takes time to get those plans ready, of course, um, but you, it's never too early to look at the financing options to understand what is the world look like around the, the lending world to finance a project like that and what do I have to do to be ready? Um, because you may not be there today, but that one year, two year, three year time frame is gonna sneak up on you really, really quickly as you're working through those kinds of plans. So absolutely, we, we do work with folks in getting them ready to tackle that project. And, and yes, it could easily be a year or two down the road knowing you know, I'm, I'm gonna go build this building, but it's, it's well down the road, but we've gotta be ready now. So yeah, it's, uh, there, there's a lot of things that can be done now to work on that business, to put you in the best position for success when that time comes. Yeah, totally agree. Great stuff from uh, Jeff Williams today. Jeff, thanks so much for joining us. You know, I know in follow up to these videos, a lot of times folks have questions. If you're all right, I'll go ahead and do a screen share now with your contact information of where folks can reach you. Yeah, um, absolutely, be great. I'm gonna just draw it right from your Aloft Capital page. This is your team page, folks. This is Jeff Williams, again, Director of Business Development. Um, and commercial advisor with Aloft Capital. Um, information down here with email and phone number. Feel free to reach out to Jeff for any needs you have there. Jeff, again, thanks for the time today. Really appreciate it. Uh, hopefully, with social distancing on soon, we'll get together again. And until then, stay safe, my friend. Thank, thank you for your time. I look forward to grabbing a cup of coffee with you soon, uh, when, whenever that's possible. So absolutely, you stay safe too. Thank you. Thanks.